Hello everybody again, this is Larry at LPC Digital. Just doing a quick look, and I underscore a quick look, not a review, of the new Clevo P157SM Sager NP8250. And this is going to be a quick look, more of an extensive look, of course, will be on a review, even on a notebook review. Anyway, let's take a look at the first page of the BIOS. And on this BIOS here, you can see, simple layout, says what's on the, the different SATA ports. This one has the crucial uh, 500 series uh, 240 gigabyte uh, for the SSD and the Blu-ray reader drive in port 3. And this has the 4800 QM, or I should say uh, MQ uh, processor, the new Haswell, and you can see the other components as well, memory 16 gig, and the uh, motherboard series 15SM. This one of course has the new NVIDIA 780M in it as well. Very simple BIOS. Uh, just the, basically the same as uh, last year's model. Very, very similar. And now let's just look at some uh, physical characteristics. Again, just to look at some of the texture of the uh, basic unit itself. And we'll get going on that. Here we are, some of the things that get that come in the box. Of course, right now is the uh, Grid 2 uh, promotion. Get the certificate there. I got it, uh, serial number covered, of course. And there's a little um, key, uh, little screws and bracket for adding your second hard drive. So you get that in a plastic baggie. And there's your uh, media software for DVD and Blu-ray playback and such. And your drivers and utilities. CD and your user manual. Doing this outside to try to get a better situation. And here is the power brick. Hundred eighty watt. And now we'll go over to the unit itself and see if we can get a little a bit of the texture of the finish and such. Of course, this side is where your uh, Blu-ray uh, reader drive is, as well as several other ports. A USB and other ports. Little view of the keyboard area. The other side and the ports, USB 3s, SATA, Here's the closed look, and we'll get a look at the back, rear, and the rear ports. So nice little beauty, very easy to hold in your hands. Of course, I'm a pretty big guy, six foot three, but very easy to carry with all that power. And here's the bottom view, 
and what is a little different nice size subwoofer we're going to find out of the sound on this one in an upcoming review there's the main access panel right there and I should say right over here and your battery panel to remove and uh, your hard drive and some other things under here see one fan under there and your other fan under here you can see some of the hardware under there with the uh, heat sinks and such coming we'll look at in just a moment and here we took uh, some of the panels off the bottom so that we can see the innards and this is the battery compartment there it is right there, some of the specs. P157S MBAT. Sounds impressive. And again, the compartment, I got a little piece of paper there to cover the serial number. The serial number is under the battery. And here's a compartment for the second hard drive and the second uh, MSATA drive that's currently disabled and here is the hard drive bay it's underneath the optical drive bay so you have to take the optical drive bay to, to get to get to those screws there's the four screws and this one has the crucial SSD in it and there's the optical drive that we took out this is the one shipping. This is the Blu-ray reader drive that's shipping right now. And here we go. Heat sinks, fans. Here's a picture, first of all, of the the GPU. And heat sink assembly. Big 780M underneath there. You can even see a little NVIDIA right there. And there's a little uh, piece of paper, the warning label covers it real well. And over here you can see the motherboard um, print and what it's for the P51, P5. Zero SM series P5 or P170SM series P177SM series basic same motherboard and here's the two other memory slots the two under the keyboard are already filled with 16 gigabytes so if you want to add make 32 gigabyte put two more eights right there here is the CPU heat sink under there is the uh, 4800 new Haswell of course CPU and there's the uh, heat sink and fan assembly there's the subwoofer I almost forgot subwoofer looking toward the rear a little bit This is where the first MSATA goes, right there. Nice setup, nice uh, look, nice quality feel. 780M under there. 
all that power in such a fairly light 15 inch notebook compared to the, to the bigger ones of course well this is just a quick look like I said and uh, there'll be a thorough reviews for instance one on notebook review I, I know of coming up very very shortly this is just a quick look and a lot more to come in the future signing out now Larry this is Larry LPC Digital